uh, in the matchup and what mistakes he made. But right now we've got Mango and Korean DJ sitting down to play. Oh, boy. We've talked this up so much. We even had Samix come and talk to you guys a little bit about it. Shout out to Samix. Um, shout out to Samix. Shout out to the Smash Brothers documentary. Highly recommend that uh, anyone that's interested in Smash Brothers or competitive right. gaming in general to check that out. Yep. Mango is going with his Falco here today. Korean DJ is playing Marth. Have you ever noticed that Mango does a lot of Falco early on in the bracket and then he starts switching to Fox later? Yeah. Um, this is a three-day tournament, so Mango might be trying to have a, a little bit of fun off-screen. So he, he probably wants to play Falco because it's less technically demanding, the character is not as fast. So uh, he just has to be a little bit more on point with his combos because the follow-ups aren't as automatic. But Yeah, that's a, that's a really good point because Fox is such a technically demanding character and he does take a lot out of you mentally and physically, you know, yeah. just always hitting all of your tech. And uh, Falco is literally half of that. Yeah. So he's a, I guess he's a much more uh, relaxing character to play in that comparison. Here we go, first match is going to be on Dreamland. I'm surprised it struck down to this. The stage tends to be considered notoriously bad for Mark in the yeah. Falco Marth matchup. It, especially in this matchup. Yeah, so uh, but we're, here we go, Korean DJ, a veteran of the game, so definitely not scared of the stage in the least. He knows the way he has to adjust his combos and his offense to suit the stage. Mega with a fluff laser there. Uh, Korean DJ just didn't get in there in time to punish it though. Nice movement by Korean DJ, but Mango is just following him perfectly. Ooh, forward smash. Smash. Ooh, does that jab a little bit too early. What he was trying to do is get that jab in to interrupt the Phantasm, and then, you know, just do Marth's stuff off the stage to get him. And that's actually a habit I've seen of a lot of the older generation of Marth players, is they don't jab twice. If you watch Mewtwo King uh, play Marth, he, he always does the second jab, because if the first one is too early, then the second one comes out so quickly that it almost always stuffs the Phantasm if they still decide to do it. All right, nice counter. Doesn't quite get anything off of it, though. Uh, this is an L cancel. Ooh. We talked earlier a little bit about how Korean DJ was coming back into the game, but he's playing a, a little bit sloppy here in his first match there. There is a lot of nerves on the line when you're playing the, the quote-unquote best player in the world, so nice attack, yeah, but it was unfortunately it wasn't enough. Yeah, it can, it can be very nerve-wracking to play, and especially in a venue like this. It's yeah. huge. There's... Uh, over 600 people here, at least that entered from Melee. Yep. You're on stream with a few thousand people watching you. All right, Green Digit taking his first stock with an Edge Hog. Yeah, he just, I mean, it's, we say it all the time, Marth just needs one grab. He just needs one grab and he can yep. even out the team, but Mango, not the easiest player to grab. Uh, almost gets the, the full horizontal recovery onto the stage, but he was just a little too far. And that, that's the matchup against a Marth that's really aggressive, uh, or a Marth that really likes to go in and get those combos, is don't get grabbed. Read when he's going to grab, do your best to just find out when Marth wants to grab, or that player wants to grab, rather, and then avoid that. Turn it into your advantage. I don't know if I recall Korean DJ getting a crap oh, this is a wow. guard there. And that, that's just frustrating at that point. You, 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 you never want to give away those things like that. Especially when they're full stocks. Mango has another chance at this third stock. Just throws it away yet again. Yep. Mango's a very, very aggressive player and that can bite him sometimes. Yep. And that's why he's such a fan favorite. He's, he, he's notorious for never giving up his, uh, his aggressive style. As reckless as some people may see it. Yeah. He makes it work to the best of his ability. Just like that, Mango takes game one with a two stock, which you can argue with the three stocks since he just yeah. threw himself off the stage. Yeah, I would say it's a, a three stock. But I'm interested to see if maybe KDJ will change characters. <laughs> Pichu. Uh, for those of you who don't know, KDJ actually uh, played Pichu a fair amount back in his day. Yep. Considered the best Pichu in the world. Yeah. And we don't, no one will ever know if that's still true. I mean. Thank you. Um, I mean, DJ really thinking about what he wants to do here. I mean, like, uh, back in the day, he was very good against Spaces with Sheik, but he has elected to stay with Marth and go to Yoshi's story. Or as we used to call back in the MLG's days, uh, Marth's story. Yeah. Uh, I think back in, like, 2006, 2007, everyone thought Marth was the best character in the game. Because yeah. he was just so dominant on these neutrals with the way the platforms are set up and you're not able to 
I think Korean DJ has gotten more grabs in this game than he did in the whole last game already. Yep, that's true. <laughs> 100%. And he's like, all right, I'm going to change my play style completely. Nice, oh, very nice. Oh, oh Randall. Randall with the save. Is that, is that top player aura? Even, even when your opponent does their best, it, the gods are just on your side. You know what it is? Mango <laughs> summoned Randall right there. He said, Randall, I need your help. Ooh, goes for the neutral there, doesn't get a double dip, Ooh. and just like that, Mango actually draws first blood after Korean DJ had such an amazing start. Nice combo by Mango, goes for the up air. Oh, gets a, tries to get a dash attack in there, and that actually can be a good approach, because it really, it puts Falco up and above Marth, and uh, a lot of the times in range for forward smash or an up tilt. Be careful with his, uh, his path back. Ooh. Right there, Mango, Mango did such a smart play right there. He knew Korean DJ would try to DI whatever hit he did. And usually when you DI, you hold up and towards the stage. So he just waited for the DI to kick in. It didn't actually hit him, and that forced Korean, Korean DJ's second jump, and then he just got down there out of his second yep. jump. Can we follow? All nice right. Combo. All right, there's that dash attack forward smash in the back air. Much closer game than last game. Korean yep. DJ doing a lot of work in this game. Great use of the counter so far. Oh, My that's a little cocky there. We're but. kind of seeing a download complete kind of a situation going on right now. Yep. Although Mango's uh, changing his software up as we speak. And, uh, I mean, just as we were praising how great his usage of counter has been, he's, he's starting to get a little uh, too happy with it. And uh, Mango is starting to sniff them out. All right, gets the one grab. Nice back here. Randall. Oh, that's going to be Could be in DJ being the underdog in this game. Definitely has the crowd behind him. But just with that one forward smash, it is an even game yet again. And one could argue that the first uh, big combo could seal it. Yep. And with Fal Falco and Mark, both of these characters on each other, that's a very real possibility that the first hit will be the last hit. Or will lead to the last hit. Anyway. Oh. Mango with some great tech chases right now. That counter was a little too high. Mm -hmm. Great back air. Uses his invincibility. Yep. Now Randy just trying to wait for the cloud. It was spawning right there, but Mars fell just a little too quickly. 